Of all the delectable islands, the Neverland is the snuggest and the most compact. Not large and sprawly, you know, with tedious distances between one adventure and another, but nicely crammed. When you play at it by day with the chairs and tablecloth, it is not in the least alarming, but in the two minutes before you go to sleep, it becomes very nearly real. That is why there are night lights. Aww, so sweet. I live in Neverland. Well, this is the first painting of Neverland I've done from the Peter Pan series. Barry says in the book that everything is crammed in, there's no long distances between things. I've decided to do it as an aerial view so I could really get in everything. Swimming with the dolphins and whales, watched by penguins and the walruses that were just sticking their heads out of the little pools. Got the crocodile here waiting for Captain Hook, waiting for his moment on the pirate ship, of course. And here we've got where the Lost Boys live, under the roots of this big old tree. Each edition is really special. Each edition has something a little bit different and have the same amount of work in them, work and care. So I've intended Peter Pan in Neverland to be the last in the Peter Pan series. I've been working on the Peter Pan for a couple of years now. So I was thinking about what Neverland is or where it is. And what I think the author was trying to convey was a place where he went in his, his imagination and where I think artists go when they're painting or an author goes when they're writing their stories. Often when you look at children at play and they're so completely absorbed in what they're doing and living purely in the moment, that's where I think Neverland is.